Hello everyone, welcome. Uh, today I'll be painting uh, rosebuds, peach rosebuds on uh, the wine bottle. This was an order I got from a friend, and uh, so I have all these uh, bottles, and uh, they wanted the peach bottle with rosebuds. So I'm going to make uh, a couple of peach bottles, a uh, couple of bottles with uh, rose buds in peach color. So first I'll start by wiping the bottle with the alcohol, uh, isopropyl alcohol so that it is clean. So I'm going to take a small piece of paper or tissue, add some uh, alcohol onto it. You get 70% and 90% isopropyl alcohol in from any pharmacy shop. So I have it and uh, you can use any one of them and then wipe the surface clean. This is to prevent uh, any dust particles which will not uh, allow the paint to stick on it. I'm going to leave the bottles for a few minutes to dry. Meanwhile, I'll take out my paints. I have mixed some paint to make a peach color. And I also have this peach color. The If you want the direct peach color without mixing, you can use pink melon. Pink melon is almost like a peach color you get. But if you want, if you don't have that and if you want to mix the color, you can mix white and yellow and little of red. You get this peach color. So I mixed uh, red, yellow and white, yellow and white. So equal parts of white and yellow and a little of red. So to get a peach color. If you want it more darker, you can add more of red. I'm going to use a number 12 flat brush. I have a couple of them. I'm going to use one for the buds and one for the leaves. Leaves I'm going to use black and white. So to first to paint the rose buds I'm going to have double load it, uh, double load the flat brush with white and peach and paint it in. So this comes out better so I'm going to use the same pink melon and white. A combination of pink melon and white. And then I'm going to add the rose buds. So for the rose buds, add one petal on top, U-shaped petal, and let it to dry. I'm going to add one more over here. And one on the side. I'm going to add three rose buds on either side. So let me just add and then an inner petal and an outer petal. Same way here, an inner petal. Pick up more paint. Keep loading when you feel that uh, there's not much paint. Then I'm going to add the outer. So for every two or three strokes, I'm going to re-dip and pick up fresh paint. So this one, the first one itself, I'm not happy with it. So I'm going to go over it. Lay it straight, lay it slightly. Don't press too hard. Okay. Now I'm going to leave it to dry for a few minutes. Meanwhile, I'll paint the other rest, the other side of it. Another rosebud here, rosebud here. Pick up white and pink melon. Add the inner petal and then one more on top. 
again reload pick up more paint and then reload here so now let's go back to the ones which I've already painted we're going to add the side burn side strokes so I need more white So white and pink melon. Now for this from the right side you press down and then add a curvy stroke and then flatten your brush then add you can add one more. Okay, so I'm going to do it once more. So from here, I'm going to add a smaller stroke and then one more. You can just leave with one stroke also. I'm going to add a couple of strokes here. For this, I'm going to add only one side stroke. Let me see. One and then two. Same way on this side. one from the left and one from the right and one more so every two three strokes pick up fresh paint So now I have a few here and a few here. I'm thinking maybe I'll add, I'll be adding a, a branch and some leaves. So maybe I'll add a few more onto this like a, a couple of more. I'm going to add uh, one more over here. And then few one more here for the side strokes I'm going to come back because I want it to dry a little a few minutes is enough then one more on this side now I'll add the side strokes just two for this Let it be like a rose but smaller one. Now once this is done, I'm going to now I'm going to use black and white and add the stems. So I'll dip it in water. I'll use a I'm going to wash my brush. I'll use the same brush. wipe it now I'm going to take up black and white so I'm going to add a little of the black and the white here so white and black so white and black okay now I want more of the black so I'm going to turn it upside down so that black is on top if you do it this way white comes white is leading so you get more of white if you do it this way like with black on top so black will be leading and you'll get more black so I want more black so I'm going to have black on top then press down bring it and then from either side I'm going to press down here and then add 
I am going to pick up picking up more paint then one from pressing down and then lifting it up pressing it down and lifting it up I am going to repeat the same thing on this side I have white and black on my brush with black facing up so that I get a black line I am pressing it down and then lift it up slowly as you come down same way from this side press down and lift as you come down again reload then from here press down then press down this has gone little far away let me see if I can fix that now for all these uh, stems I'm going to add petal uh, leaves so I have to same thing I loaded with white and black and then pressing down here and making a leaf these are one stroke leaves so you have press down and then lift it towards the sharp point Usually I put two leaves in uh, one stem. Wherever you can find some space, you can put some leaves. Same thing for this. Reload with white and black and paint some leaves. One, two, three. Um, maybe I'll add one more here so for this I'll add one more at least two on each of the stems now once this is done we're going to add a smaller lines here now we're going to add smaller lines here and then add the connect the leaves so for that I'm using a small number one round brush or a liner brush. Let me get a brush. So you can use any thin brush. I'm going to use this thin brush. This is a number uh, zero. It's a zero liner brush and I'm going to dip it in black. So at this point I'm going to add press down and lift it up. So if it's not comfortable you can turn it upside down and do it I'm going to draw two three of them so these are uh, I'm adding the sepals for the rosebud so you can turn it upside down add on a two on either side and then one in the center Just hold it here. So these one, two, and three sepals. You press it down so that it is thicker at the bottom and then thin as it comes down. So I'm pressing it down and then lifting it up. Press it down and lift it up to make the sepals. And then you add the leaves you don't want the leaves to be away from the stem so I'm going to add connect I'm connecting the leaves to the branches by just adding one single line connecting the leaves so these are the leaves here so connect it with the black line the veins
so all of them are done so this is a peach wine bottle it was an order um, I'm not sure if I need to add uh, okay let me add some grass like few stems at the bottom that is it 